Let's talk a little bit how you evaluate a scan that you've just brought into MeshMixer for any problems that you may need to fix later on. When you first bring in a scan into MeshMixer, it will come up with blue lines around it. What these mean are is that it's open boundaries. Without going too much into it, these lines represent an open face where you have a front side and a back side. The reason the way I'm going to show that is I'm going to go to the mesh mixer shader right here and drag that into my scene. Now, this takes away the color for the moment, but it shows that the back is this pink color and the front is this gray color. If we were to feed this into a 3D printing program, it would see the front of this just fine, but because this is the back and the front with no boundary in between, the 3D printer software would throw up its hands and say, I have no idea how to print this. If I press the W key to go into wireframe and zoom in right here, this is essentially a completely infinitely thin line. There is a front triangle and a back triangle, but no boundary in between. 3D file formats like these have what's called a front face and a back face, and those are called normals. So the normal for this is pointing outwards, but you don't have any normal on this side. So 3D print software says, I have no idea how to print that because this is essentially the inside, but it's on the outside. So 3D print software may try to fix it, but for something as complex as this, it really just wouldn't fix it. So that is seen only in the mesh mixer shader, but every 3D scan that you do that comes off of 123D catch will have some blue line on it that you will need to fix later on. So I'm gonna go back to this world shader right here and drag this in to get the color back. So that's one thing to just know that you will have those blue lines that you'll need to fix. Now we have, I'm gonna center my mouse right here and press the C key, C is in center, which centers the view right where my mouse is. I'm gonna zoom in. So we have some holes right there. Again, open boundaries, but also holes that we will need to fix. That is also kind of a, a very bad angle up here. There's something going on down here. I'm gonna press the C key on that and zoom in. Looks like a very, very thin hole down there. And we have just kind of pieces sticking out on this side up here. I focused for this project right here because what I wanted to do was to create a plate that went over this kind of ugly drill hole in the eaves underneath my house. Uh, a plate that fit over not only the hole, but these two little brackets right here as a custom piece. So I focused really nicely here, so this came out very well. But the rest of it, like this security camera and the rest of the scan, I really didn't care all that much about. Last thing also, if we go up here, we see we have this kind of floating piece in midair, so we would need to fix that as well. So those are the things that pop out to my trained eye. One thing that you can do is you click on Analysis to Inspector, the very top. So this will show you some issues. All of the blue pins are issues of open boundaries. So we know that there's an open boundary, a little tiny one right here. Looks like there is another tiny one right here that I maybe can't even see. I can try to zoom in a little bit. This may actually be referring to this entire open boundary, so that's fine. This pin goes to that open boundary and looks like there's another one right there, another hole right there. So for simple holes like this, you can just click on these pins and that hole is filled. And the very, very nice thing, if we zoom in here, is that Mesh Mixer will attempt to recreate the correct color in that place. Now this won't work on very detailed scans, but for something like this, it works really well. So if we notice right here, it's kind of a gray color. I'm gonna zoom out a little bit, click on this pin, and now zoom back in here, and Mesh Mixer did an excellent job at filling in that color. So that is great. Now for these larger holes, uh, this is actually a small one, I can fill that one in right there. For this one larger hole, which is essentially the entire object, clicking this pin won't do anything. It won't have a good 
uh, effect. So that one we'll just keep as it is now. Now these little kind of pink magenta pins are floating objects. We have this threshold here, and I invite you to go look at the inspector reference video. But as we scrub this up, these objects may or may not become marked. Yeah, see down here, we start to drop these off. These essentially are saying that these are under the threshold, and if you click on these kind of pink ones, the object will just disappear. Great, disappeared, little floating guy disappeared. So we have one major problem, which is that huge open border that we'll deal with in another video. But just going to the inspector and clicking done uh, will solve a lot of very easy problems. And then you will go in and solve kind of the harder problems later on. So those are the things to look for when starting. And in the next video, uh, we'll talk about a little bit more about if this is printable or not.